Hello, my name is Sean Bianco from 3CX. This training consists of a series of video tutorials which will take you through 3CX phone systems and user features. In this nugget, we shall be discussing the dial codes used to perform various functions in 3CX phone system. These video tutorials will aid in your preparation for the 3CX certification test. Dial codes allow you to access functions within 3CX phone system directly from your phone. Each dial code reserves a specific set of key combinations which can be altered by the administrator. One of the most commonly used dial codes is the Do Not Disturb dial code. If you are in a situation in which you cannot take calls, you can switch your extension to Do Not Disturb. Dial star 61 to enable Do Not Disturb for your extension. Dial star 60 to disable Do Not Disturb for your extension and start receiving calls again. If one of your colleagues is not available to take a call, you can take the call using the call pickup dial code. This is done by dialing star 20 star followed by the extension number of your colleague's phone. This will redirect the waiting call from your colleague's extension to yours. Alternatively, you could also retrieve the call from a ringing extension without specifying an extension number. To do this, dial star 20 star followed by the send key and the first waiting call will be redirected to your extension. Note that your administrator may limit call pickup for extensions within the same extension group. You can change your extension status using the star 3 dial code. The number that follows indicates the status that you want. Use star 30 for available, star 31 for away, star 32 for out of office, star 33 for available too, and star 34 for out of office too. Using the intercom feature, you can make an announcement to another extension without requiring the other party to pick up the handset. The audio is two-way and will be played on the other phone speaker. To do this, dial star 9 followed by the extension number you wish to call. Note that the phone of the called party needs to support this functionality. You can use the star 4 dial codes to leave a message directly in an extension's voicemail box. To do this, dial star 4 and the extension number. For example, dialing star 4 100 will leave a voicemail message in the voicemail box of extension 100. The star 5 dial code instructs the PBX to not send your caller ID when making an outbound call. Note that when using this feature with VoIP providers, you must first contact your VoIP provider and inform them that you would like to use this feature. Not all VoIP providers support blocking caller IDs. To use this dial code, simply dial star 5 followed by the number you wish to dial. The receiving party will see the caller details as private number. Parking orbits are used to store parked calls. This feature allows you to park a call in a parking orbit and pick up the call from another extension. To park a call, you will first have to perform a blind transfer followed by dialing a key combination starting from star 00 up to star 09. There are 10 parking orbits to which calls can be parked. For example, star 01 will place a call in parking orbit 1. To pick up a parked call, dial star 1 followed by the parking slot where the call is parked. For example, star 19 will pick up a call stored in parking orbit 9. Parking orbits also support the parking of multiple calls. To unpark a specific call from a parking orbit, you can add the extension number from which you park the call. For example, dialing star 10100 will pick up a call parked in parking orbit 0 which has been parked by extension 100. If you are an agent for a call queue, you need to log into the queue to let the phone system know that you are available to take calls. Dial star 62 to log into the queues. Alternatively, dialing star 63 will log you out of all queues you are currently a member of. Bidding codes are useful when you want to tag calls with a particular code. These come in handy when you perform calls for a job and you want to build the calls to the job. You can then generate reports for each billing code. The dial code for the billing code is star star. Dial the number first followed by star star and the billing code as shown in the example. You can then use the 3CX web reports to generate reports for your billing codes. In this example, we are generating a report for calls made with billing code 3265. Note that your extension must be granted access to the 3CX web reports by your administrator. Note that all the dial codes described in this nugget are the ones which are used by default in 3CX phone system. 
the administrator can choose to change any of these dial codes. If in doubt, please confirm the dial codes you would like to use with your administrator. This leads us to the conclusion of the sixth course in this series. I hope you found the information provided informative. You can find more training material at the link provided. Thanks for watching.